The 6th Cygnus resupply vehicle is heading to the International Space Station this week and is carrying CubeSats, cool flames and brand new lights. This is your Space Pod for October 12th, 2016. Confusingly, this mission is designated OA-5, even though it's the sixth Cygnus cargo mission to the space station. This is because the OA-6 vehicle was actually launched earlier this year. Like in the previous vehicle, there will be a small fire lit on board just after it leaves the space station, but before it burns up in the atmosphere. This is part of the Sapphire experiment that's looking at how fires behave in space. This specific vehicle is called the SS Allen Poindexter after the former US astronaut. This mission is carrying approximately 2,400 kilograms of cargo, including two Spire CubeSats, which will be used for weather forecasting. These CubeSats will be deployed using a NanoRax deployer after Cygnus leaves the ISS. Cygnus is also carrying new science experiments to the space station. One of these is the Cool Flames experiment. But isn't fire hot? How can you have a cool flame? This candle flame is burning at around 1,400 degrees Celsius. Previous experiments on space station were setting fuel droplets on fire and recording them. Interestingly, the fuel droplets were seen to go out. The flame disappeared, but the fuel kept vaporizing even though there was no visible flame. This was happening at a temperature of about 600 degrees Celsius, which is two and a half times cooler than that candle flame was right there. This new and unexpected form of burning could help make internal combustion engines more efficient with less emissions and better control. This Cygnus vehicle is also carrying brand new lights for the space station. Ever notice how playing with your television, smartphone or laptop before you go to bed stops you from getting to sleep? That's because these devices emit blue light, which suppresses our natural body clock or circadian rhythm, making us feel more alert and awake. Blue light makes us feel more awake by suppressing the hormone melatonin. Melatonin is a hormone that lets the body know when it should be asleep. In humans, melatonin levels are the highest between midnight and 8 a.m., or when we should be sleeping. By controlling the amount of blue light being emitted, which is possible with these new LED lighting systems packed on Cygnus, we can tailor the light to promote awakeness or sleepiness. Shifting the LED lights to emit more blue light can be used in times when astronauts need to feel more awake and alert, such as when visiting vehicles are arriving. When astronauts are getting ready for bed, the lights can be adjusted to emit less blue light, allowing melatonin to build up naturally to promote a healthy sleep. Thanks for watching everyone and I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a little bit more about Cygnus than you knew before. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash tmro. Don't forget to leave your comments below or on any of our social media platforms like Twitter, Facebook, Reddit and our website tmro.tv. Of course, these shows are 100% crowdfunded and would not be possible without the generous support of our Patreon founders, architects, engineers, ambassadors and dreamers of tomorrow. And if you'd like more information on how you can become a patron of this show, head on over to patreon.com slash spacepod. My name is Lisa Stojanovsky and until next time, keep on discovering.